Today is October 4, 2016. I just found a great article by Mike Adams of Natural News breaking down the Agenda 2030 program. Just a reminder as to what Agenda 2030 actually is, the Agenda 21 and 2030 programs are running simultaneously. One did not replace the other. Anytime your local city or county is implementing sustainability programs in the name of fighting climate change, that is the Agenda 21 program. Anytime a national government is implementing sustainability programs in the name of fighting climate change, that is the Agenda 2030 program. So Agenda 21 is local, Agenda 2030 is national, that's the difference between the two programs. So he says, in the interest of helping wake up humanity, I've decided to translate the 17 points of the 2030 agenda so that readers everywhere can understand what this document is really calling for. To perform this translation, you have to understand how globalists disguise their monopolistic agendas in feel-good language. Goal number one, end poverty in all its forms everywhere. Translation, put everyone on government welfare, food stamps, housing subsidies, and handouts that make them obedient slaves to global government. Never allow people upward mobility to help themselves. Instead, teach mass victimization and obedience to a government that provides monthly allowance money for basic essentials like food and medicine, label it ending poverty. Now, I don't disagree with him here, but when I have talked about this, when I see ending poverty, to me that means ending people because the best way to end poverty is to get rid of poor people. Goal number two, end hunger, achieve food security and improve nutrition and promote sustainable agriculture. Translation, invade the entire planet with GMOs and Monsanto's patented seeds while increasing the use of deadly herbicides under the false claim of increased output of food crops, engineer genetically modified plants to boost specific vitamin chemicals while having no idea of the long-term consequences of genetic pollution or cross-species genetic experiments carried out openly in a fragile ecosystem. Goal number three, ensure healthy lives and promote well-being for all at all ages. Translation, mandate 100 plus vaccines for all children and adults at gunpoint, threatening parents with arrest and imprisonment if they refuse to cooperate. Push heavy medication use on children and teens while rolling out screening programs. Call mass medication prevention programs and claim they improve the health of citizens. Goal number four, ensure inclusive and equitable quality education and promote lifelong opportunities for all. Translation, push a false history and a dumbed down education under common core education standards that produce obedient workers rather than independent thinkers. Never let people learn real history or else they might realize they don't want to repeat it. And I also want to add that you need to remember that Common Core is not just for America. It is intended to be an international agenda. Goal number five, achieve gender equality and empower all women and girls. Translation, criminalize Christianity, marginalize heterosexuality, demonize males, and promote the LGBT agenda everywhere. The real goal is never equality, but rather the marginalization and shaming of anyone who expresses any male characteristics whatsoever. The ultimate goal is to feminize society, creating widespread acceptance of gentle obedience, along with the self-weakening ideas of communal property and sharing everything, because only male energy has the strength to rise up against oppression and fight for human rights. The suppression of male energy is key to keeping the population in a state of eternal acquiescence. Goal number six, 
ensure availability and sustainable management of water and sanitation for all. Translation, allow powerful corporations to seize control of the world's water supplies and charge monopoly prices to build new water delivery infrastructure that ensures availability. Goal number seven, ensure access to affordable, reliable, sustainable, and modern energy for all. Translation, penalize coal, gas, and oil while pushing doomed to fail green energy subsidies to brain-dead startups headed by friends of the White House who all go bankrupt in five years or less, or as I say, eliminate electricity so that we are all consistently in the dark for long periods of time. Goal number eight, promote sustained, inclusive, and sustainable economic growth, full and productive employment, and decent work for all. Translation, regulate small business out of existence with government-mandated minimum wages that bankrupt entire sectors of the economy. Force employers to meet hiring quotas of LGBT workers while mandating wage tiers under a centrally planned work economy dictated by the government. Destroy free market economics and deny permits and licenses to those companies that don't obey government dictates. Goal number nine, build resilient infrastructure promote inclusive and sustainable industrialization, and foster innovation. Translation, put nations into extreme debt with the World Bank, spending debt money to hire corrupt American corporations to build large-scale infrastructure projects that trap developing nations in an endless spiral of debt. Goal number 10, reduce inequality within and among countries. Translation, punish the rich, the entrepreneurs, and the innovators, confiscating nearly all gains by those who choose to work and excel. Redistribute the confiscated wealth to the masses of non-working human parasites that feed off a productive economy while contributing nothing to it, all while screaming about equality. Goal number 11, make cities and human settlements inclusive, safe, resilient, and sustainable. Translation, ban all gun ownership by private citizens, concentrating guns into the hands of obedient government enforcers who rule over an unarmed, enslaved class of impoverished workers, criminalize living in most rural areas by instituting Hunger Games-style protected areas which the government will claim are owned by the people, even though no people are allowed to live there. Force all humans into densely packed, tightly controlled cities where they are under 24-7 surveillance and subject to easy manipulation by the government. And this right here is more or less the end-all, be-all of this entire agenda. Human settlements, sustainable, inclusive, forcing everyone into dense cities where everything is tightly managed and controlled. Goal number 12. Ensure sustainable consumption and production patterns. Translation, begin levying punitive taxes on the consumption of fossil fuels and electricity, forcing people to live under conditions of worsening standards of living that increasingly resemble third world conditions. Use social influence campaigns in TV, movies, and social media to shame people who use gasoline, water or electricity, establishing a social construct of ninnies and tattlers who rat out their neighbors in exchange for food credit rewards. Goal number 13, take urgent action to combat climate change and its impacts. Translation, set energy consumption quotas on each human being and start punishing or even criminalizing lifestyle decisions that exceed energy usage limits set by governments, and this is the purpose of smart meters, institute total surveillance of individuals in order to track and calculate their energy consumption, penalize private vehicle ownership, and force the masses on a public transit where TSA grunts and facial recognition cameras can monitor and record the movement of every person in society 
like a scene ripped right out of Minority Report. And this has been the general theme of my channel lately. This whole idea of getting you out of your car, onto the bus, where TSA can grope and molest you for your safety. Goal number 14. Conserve and sustainably use the oceans, seas, and marine resources for sustainable development. Translation. Ban most ocean fishing, plunging the food supply into an extreme shortage and causing runaway food price inflation that puts even more people into economic desperation. Criminalize the operation of private fishing vessels and place all ocean fishing operations under the control of government central planning. Only allow favored corporations to conduct ocean fishing operations and make this decision based entirely on which corporations give the most campaign contributions to corrupt lawmakers. Goal number 15. Protect, restore, and promote sustainable use of terrestrial ecosystems, sustainably manage forests, combat desertification, and halt and reverse land degradation and halt biodiversity loss. Translation. Roll out Agenda 21 and force humans off the land and into controlled cities. Criminalize private land ownership, including ranches and agricultural tracts. Tightly control all agriculture through a corporate, corrupted government bureaucracy whose policies are determined almost entirely by Monsanto while being rubber stamped by the USDA. Ban wood stoves, rainwater collection, and home gardening in order to criminalize self-reliance and force total dependence on government. Goal number 16. Promote peaceful and inclusive societies for sustainable development, provide access to justice for all, and build effective, accountable, and inclusive institutions at all levels. Translation. Grant legal immunity to illegal aliens and protected minority groups, which will be free to engage in any illegal activity, including openly calling for the mass murder of police officers because they are the new protected class in society. Inclusive institutions means granting favorable tax structures and government grants to corporations that hire LGBT workers or whatever groups are currently in favor with the central planners in government. Use the IRS and other federal agencies to selectively punish unfavorable groups with punitive audits and regulatory harassment, all while ignoring the criminal activities of favored corporations that are friends of the political elite. Goal number 17. Strengthen the means of implementation and revitalize the Global Partnership for Sustainable Development. Translation. Enact global trade mandates that override national laws while granting unrestricted imperialism powers to companies like Monsanto, Dow Chemical, R.J. Reynolds, Coca-Cola, and Merck, pass global trade packs that bypass a nation's lawmakers, and override intellectual property laws to make sure the world's most powerful corporations maintain total monopolies over drugs, seeds, chemicals, and technology, nullify national laws and demand total global obedience to trade agreements authored by powerful corporations and rubber stamped by the UN. So, to the layperson, what I just read sounds really far-fetched, but it's not if you have been paying attention. All we hear all day long is about being sustainable, being inclusive, while at the same time, if you have a certain skin color, it's okay for everyone else to be racist towards you. They are trying to ban guns. Wood stoves and home gardening are being banned in certain parts of the country. They're trying to get us out of our cars and onto transit. The TSA is being expanded. They're building the cities and making it harder to live on rural land. And if you don't believe anything I just said, there are actually protected classes. So when do you feel like you're exposed to this kind of attack on your at-large voting? First, you have to have identifiable in your community a significant uh, 
a significant minority group that's recognized as a protected class under state and federal law. So in Rancho Cucamonga, the protected class is Latino, and it's been identified as constituting somewhere over 35% of the population of the city of Rancho Cucamonga.